veggie burgers. It will be a black bean and mushroom burger with American cheese, a pickle mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and onion. It's nice to be able to know how to make things that are plant-based that are just as satisfying as things that are not. That's what we're going to accomplish today. For our black bean burgers, the first thing that we're going to do is start off with black beans, right? We're gonna drain them out, but we also want to give them a rinse. Spread our beans out on a sheet tray, and we're gonna kind of pat them dry because we're gonna toss these guys in the oven for about 15 minutes. So we're going to take a teaspoon of cumin seeds. We're gonna put it in a dry saute pan. There we go. We are going to start by dicing an onion. We cut off this stem end. Then we're gonna cut it in half right through the middle. So drop it in the tip of the knife, and we're gonna make all the slices the same size, and we're going to pull it one time through like that. And then we're gonna just start going like this downtown. And there we go. All right, coat our pan with oil. And we're gonna throw our onions right in the pan. So we want to give them a nice sprinkle of salt. You can tell when the onions are cooked because they go from this opaque white to sort of a translucent, almost like golden color. I got dry beans. Oh, wow. My cumin seed is toasted. Let's grind it. So it goes on like this, and there's a little button right here. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> My onions are sweaty. They look cooked Ooh, now, yeah. don't they? Yeah, nice. All right, we are going to take four cloves of garlic. Let's smash all four. Oh. We take these garlic pieces, we put them on the edge of our board and put your knife right on top of it. Get ready, watch. Bam! We're gonna oh. smash it. Yes. <laughs> all right. What this does is it breaks all of the cells in the garlic so that when it hits that warm oil, like, whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Have it's ready right away to give off its garlic goodness. <laughs> and we're gonna add it to the sweaty onions in there. All of a sudden, it's like, it smells, oh, wow. it yeah. smells mm -hmm. good in here, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, I swear, I smell onions and garlic. I'm hungry <laughs> It's just like a minute or two after that, and then we turn the whole thing off and just let it hang out here for a second. You're gonna use crackers. So we need about a half to three quarters of a cup of cracker crumbs. So, and lock it in place, all right? And we just wanna pulse. There we go, that's it. Mushrooms. Oh boy. For portobello mushrooms, we're gonna pop the stem. So then we take a spoon and see these these things underneath here that look like gills? So we just take it a uh, spoon and we rub them up till we get down to like the main cap of the mushroom. Okay? Are those officially called gills? Yes. So these guys, shiitake. So these stems we need to pull off because there's a little piece of the stem that goes up into the cap. So we're gonna dice these mushroom caps pretty small. I want you to remember this. Slices, sticks, dices. Slices, slices sticks, dices. dices. Slices, slices, sticks, dices. Okay? It kind of helps you get into the rhythm of things. These guys kind of already come in slices, slices. right? Mm. So then we make sticks. Sticks. And we turn them, and what do we make? Dices. dices. Oh. Slices, sticks, dices. Slices, slices sticks, dices. dices. <laughs> what did I say mushrooms are mostly made out of? Sweat. Water. Water. So whenever you're browning anything in a skillet, don't crowd the pan. Ooh, did you hear that? Oh, yeah. The mushrooms are letting off their water. They're releasing it. And then you see the volume of the mushrooms shrinks. We let the water come out of the mushroom and then cook away till your pan is kind of dry. And then we're gonna season it with yes. a little bit of salt. My mushrooms are just about done. Let's start to build our burgers in our food processor. Onions and garlic that we sauteed. Cracker crumbs, okay. 
an egg, oh. our toasted ground cumin seed, smoked paprika, Dijon mustard, mm. Worcestershire sauce. So now I'm gonna throw my mushrooms in there and we're going to pulse them just to kind of combine. Then we have our dried beans we're putting in there. All right, because we want to feel like some pieces of the bean. We want that texture. We're going to feel it. We're going to feel like, is it loosey-goosey? Is it really dry? Transfer everything to a bowl. Let's cook some burgers. <laughs> This will make about four burgers and give it a nice little pat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my pan's hot. Crowd, Crowd the, pan. the pan. So, how about the garnish for our burgers? Yes. So, we have our special sauce, mayonnaise, half a cup of ketchup, a little splash of pickle juice, slices, and then we go into sticks. All right, and then we go dices. Here we go. And we want little feeny, feeny, feeny dices, okay? We have our sauce ready. Going on here. All right. Now, look at my veggie burgers are looking beautiful. So, once your burgers are nicely seared like this, good old American cheese, right? Okay. Even if they are still hidden too. All right, there we go. I like a sandwich size English muffin for a burger. Stick the fork in and kind of wiggle it up and down a little bit. Then it comes apart like this. All right, so we're toasting a muffin. Iceberg lettuce. We could just cut like the cheek off. And then we're going to do what's called a chiffonade. A chiffonade is when we have leafy things and we cut ribbons of it. It's like this, really skinny knife cut. So we make like little ribbons, okay? Mm, pretty. We're gonna do some thin slices of red onion, one for each burger. So we're gonna do some pickle rounds, thin slices. Home stretch. So we have these cute little papers. Love it. I like to use a big spoon for sauce. I hold it like I hold a pencil. All right. And let it just pour off the top or the end of the spoon. I'm gonna go grab my burgers. Like that melted cheese oh, action, don't my we? My goodness, look at that. We are going to assemble our burgers on the side. Take a little of our special sauce. We're just gonna give it a rub around. We place our burger on the bigger half and we arrange the pickles around nicely so it covers the entire burger. Then we're gonna do onions and lettuce last. And then we give it a topper. And voila, finished. Mm. All right, questions, what do we got? Can we eat it? Get right in there. Yes. Awesome.